What's going on guys, it is Gorilla here and welcome back to another video. Today we have a bit, bit of a different video, this is going to be my dream team. If I could have any player from any FIFA put it into a starting eleven, this is probably what I would, uh, what I would want to use in FIFA. So, obviously with different players, different FIFAs, they felt good on that specific FIFA. For example, Team of Season Balassi on FIFA 15 was an absolute god for me. Would it be good on FIFA 18? Uh, Obviously, the gameplay changes, so I'm not going to take the gameplay into account. I'm going to take the player from what I used in that FIFA, or who I think was good in that FIFA. And if we could just create some magical FIFA where every player plays to what they did on that past FIFA. Then this is the team that I would use. Because, of course, some of the players I'd use um, that I've picked in this team would probably not work in FIFA 18, just down to the game mechanics itself. So, get the gameplay itself, just, you know, the players... And uh, we'll go from there. So we're going to start in goal. As you can see on the screen, we have FIFA 15, uh, Thibaut Courtois. I actually used him off chemistry when I actually used him in my team. I think I played him. Um, I had a Nubaha centre-back with an Icon or Ramos. One or the other. I can't remember. But it was off chem regardless. And obviously back then, Legends did not give uh, links to 20 players. So you had to get Legends to get the chemistry. I had Courtois on goal on the 7 or 8 chemistry, and he was the best keeper I've ever used. The most consistent. Um, you could have had Jack Butland from previous FIFA. You could have obviously had De Gea this FIFA. Uh, I've never really used any legends or icons in my main team. I've tried them, but they're just not up to par. So Courtois, for me, is the best keeper I've used on any FIFA. And he was off chemistry. So let's move into the right back, and let's see who I picked there. So going into the right back position, as you can see, we have chosen my icon. I think this is the FIFA 10 card. Um, of course, I can't remember back when he was this good. I don't remember actually using him uh, in game. But just look at those stats. A 92 rated right back. And, you know, probably the best right back we'll probably have on any FIFA. You know, he has the pace, the strength. And it's just, you know, if we have one, imagine we have that type of right back now in this FIFA. We have the likes of Valencia now, um, Kyle Walker and Vesalka. I think they're like the three go to right backs in this FIFA. But in previous FIFAs, like FIFA 14, we have the Barte. Um, but I don't think we've ever had a fullback, specifically a right back that's ever came to my con stats. Just fast and strong, you know, you can't really get better than that. Um, of course, I could have gone with um, Team of the Year players gone by, but I think my con, uh, a lot of people would have chosen him just purely down to his stats. I don't remember actually playing uh, with him, but I can just imagine how good he would be if I had him in my dream team. And uh, this is what I use at competitions and that. But that's the right back done. The two centre-backs now, one of them's more or less a given. I think the other one will actually surprise you guys. So let's go into centre-back positions and let's see uh, which two we're going to add into our team. Right, we've added Team of the Year Ramos into the centre-back position. It was kind of obvious. Any FIFA or more or less every FIFA that he's got a Team of the Year card, I've always used him. And he's probably been the best centre-back I've ever used on any FIFA. I've got him this year in FIFA 18. And I think this was last year's card that I've chosen. Obviously the designs... Because I could have gone with any Team of the Year Ramos. I just went with, uh, I think this is the FIFA 17 design. So, when we were Team of the Year Ramos, um, there's loads and loads of icons that we could have gone with. We could have gone with the likes of Blanc from FIFA 15 when I actually used him. He was really good. Um, obviously, the other, uh, other centre-back I'll be showing you in a second. But I'm trying to think off the top of my head what other centre-backs. I mean, even the likes of cheap players like Smalling from uh, the last FIFA who were really good. But... Overall, um, Team of the Year Ramos, I don't think anyone's ever came close to him in terms of um, the speed. Like, I think he has 99 agility, this FIFA. He's strong, he can turn and everything like that. I think he adds a full package. The only thing that lets him down slightly is the strength, uh, not the strength, sorry, the height. But I don't really notice it too much. You have the likes of Maldini as well, we could have had. Um, even Beckenbauer, um, but I wasn't really a fan of him back when he was a legend in the game. But Team of the Year Ramos... More or less a given. Now, the next player next to him is going to be Anuaha. So, F15, if you don't remember, Anuaha, the QPR centre-back, was an absolute beast. Uh, I actually used him on my uh, main team, my competitive team. I, had, I can't remember who I had next to him. I know I had Courtois in goal. Whether I had Ramos or Blanc, I can't remember. I think it actually might have been Blanc. Um, but he didn't give a strong link to Courtois, and I had Kyle Walker right back, so he got a strong link via that. So Courtois, that's how he got, yeah, it was Laurent Blanc and Anuha, but Anuha for me, probably the best centre-back alongside Ramos, even though he was only, I think, a 75 rate back then. And he was just a go-to guy, one of those players that, even though his stats weren't the best, he was quick, had a bit of strength about him, and honestly, 
like I said, the best centre back I could probably use alongside Ramos in any FIFA. Like I said, there could have been many. I could have gone with Maldini if we're going to go with uh, top players. I've been using a lot this FIFA, but team of season cards. It, there's a long list of uh, centre backs you could have gone with, but for me personally, from what I'm used at events and stuff. I knew her. If I could have him on my team now, he would be in it without a doubt. So left back position now. You could say it's going to be a bit of a 50-50 uh, between two, in my opinion. So we're going to go into it now, and I'll, I'll tell you why I've gone with this left back. So in the left back position, we have gone with Roberto with Carlos. Now I've gone with Carlos purely down to FIFA 15. I had Lauren Blanc left centre back, and Roberto Carlos left back, and I had Patrick Vieira left centre mid in a 4-3-1-2, and. Roberto Carlos was probably the best fullback besides the likes of maybe Taiwo from, um, was it FIFA 14 or 13? Something like that um, when he used to play for AC Milan. Um, we also had Tim Neer and over the past few years who's been really good. But I think Carlos, FIFA 15, his free, when free kicks were actually good, where you could shoot and actually score from free kicks, he was the best at it. His long shots were broken. And the way the game suited it, like he was quick, he had the strength. And he could actually turn so a bit more now, uh, more so than he can now, because the agility this FIFA for him, it just kills him. He can't turn, and he just it doesn't seem like a viable option for me anyway. So I go with Timmy and Marcelo. But back in FIFA 15, Roberto Carlos was probably the best fullback, left back I've ever used. I wish I could have him now, like how he was, because he's was actually good back then. Um, I think they've just done his stats a bit of a dis uh, disservice with the past two years. And just the way he feels in game, like I think he has about 70 to 80 agility, nothing, nothing major. And running down the left hand side, overlapping, he just cuts inside, and he's that extra, extra touch does kill him a little bit. But still a, still a decent left back. Um, obviously, he's still an icon, an 88 rate. He has a 91 prime out now. But back in FIFA 15, he was an absolute player. Right, moving on to the next one. Uh, we have Footy's Rooney. I bet you're thinking, uh, what are you doing, Rooney centre mid? Um, so, Tass actually came up with the idea back in FIFA 15. A lot of FIFA 15 reoccurrences here, but it's for a reason. So, I think back in FIFA 15 or FIFA 16, I think it was 15. I think I used him into 16 as well. But Tass came up with the idea of using Rooney centre mid. High, high work rates. He had decent pace for a centre mid back then. Best, well, one of the best shooting on the game, especially for a midfielder. Had the strength, had the passing, apart from the skills. But... I preached back in FIFA 15 or maybe 16 that you needed two high, high uh, centre mids, I believe. So I wanted to use Rooney. Uh, I actually used his original. I think he had an 86 card or something back then that I used in centre mid. I then he got a footies card, so I used a footies card. And then he was in my team uh, for the duration of the year. But his long shots were unbelievable. And probably the best midfielder. Obviously, we have the likes of Rude Hullet, Patrick Vieira, you know, the standard meta players, but you would never think to put Rooney into like a midfield team, especially for like a meta team. And honestly, if you ask Tass as well, he'll tell you how good this Rooney was back in B15 and 16. I think they're the two FIFAs where you can actually get away with using them at centre mid, but uh, FIFA 17 onwards, he's just not an option anymore. And honestly, I actually do miss this Rooney card because playing on the right hand side back in um, previous FIFA just. Long shot cross keeper, it's going more times than nine. His free kicks as well, his power free kicks on the right hand side used to get me quite a few goals. We're going to the next two centre mid positions. You're going to know who they are anyway, but let's get into it and then we'll finish off with the three forwards. So, you know, I'm going to put Patrick Vieira in. Doesn't really matter which FIFA. He's always been the go to CDM in any FIFA. Um, FIFA 15, FIFA 16, FIFA 17, and now FIFA 18. I've always used him. Probably the best CDM. Maybe there's one or two players that have. Uh, that have came close to maybe replacing him, but realistically, uh, the likes of Team Nia Kante, uh, not Team Nia Kante, sorry, Team the Season Kante. He just, the thing with uh, the thing with Vieira is he's so tall, he has the pace, he has the passing, he has the strength. Decent dribbling, to be fair, for a CDM. It's just uh, the shooting is lacking a little bit, but the prime Vieira this year actually has decent shooting for once. But no one's really came close to him in past FIFA, so he's always going to be the CDM. Unless EA add another icon that's going to contend with him. He's always going to be there. There's nothing really to say about him. Best CDM on the game and probably will be for the next uh, few FIFAs. Unless EA, uh, EA, EA add someone else in. And also next to him, Rude Hoodie. You know it's going to be Rude Hoodie again. 
Uh, and nothing really to say about him, really. Every single FIFA. To be fair, honestly, I think there was one FIFA I hated him. And I think that was FIFA 16. I can't remember. Might have been FIFA 16 or... Yeah, FIFA 16 or... FIFA 15. No, yeah, 16. FIFA 16, I didn't like him. I think I still, uh, you know, persevered with him. But I just didn't get on with him. But this FIFA, last FIFA, absolute beast. And that five-star weak foot that he's been added to, I don't think he had five-star weak foot before this year is... It's so good, like, overlapping on the left-hand side, driven shot bomb corner, left or right foot, it's going to be a goal. And just looking at that team now, if I had this team heading into, like, a tournament on FIFA 18, I'll be very, very confident. And the front three as well is just going to top this team off. I think you know which two are going to be, but I think the third one might be, unless you followed me for a while, then you might, uh, might be a bit of a surprise. So that's midfield then. We've got Footies Rooney, 88 or 91 Vieira, whichever Vieira and any Hullet. Um, well, 1993. 93 Hoodie will be coming out soon on FIFA 18. Let me know what you think. Uh, would he be better? That is the question I'm uh, trying to figure out. Would he be better? A lot better. Because he drops a, drops a bit of pace, doesn't he, Rude Hoodie? So, uh, for his pumps. Let me know in the comments if you think the 93 will be better than a 90. But let's move on to the forwards and finish up on our team. Right, in the camp position, we have team of the season, Neymar. Could have gone with an absolute shed loads of players. We could have gone with like, some Pele, who I'm actually using now. Could have gone with Team of the Year Messi. Could have gone with Team of the Year Suarez, potentially in the camp, even though I'd probably play him as a striker. Team of the Season, Balassi back on FIFA 15, what a player he was. Team of the Season, Dembele, like the list could go on. Probably missed out a few, to be fair. But, Team of the Season, Neymar. Last FIFA, FRWC, pretty single handedly won me uh, that tournament, obviously with the likes of Suarez. But Neymar was the main player for me. I actually played him a 4-5-1, played him on 7 chemistry, and he was still causing people trouble. So I'm going to have to go with Team of the Season Neymar, specifically from last FIFA, FIFA 17 Neymar. Hopefully he gets a Team of the Season this year, even though he's injured now. Hopefully he doesn't play a big part in him not getting one. I've got a 95 Neymar now, um, but I'm not starting. I'm actually starting Pele over him. it would be interesting to see what a 98 Pele would do, because um, I'm not really like Pele on any other FIFA. But this FIFA, that though, so far, he's actually been doing a... Doing a good job there. But Neymar, well, 95 on now. Definitely recommend getting him if you don't have him already. He just suits the way I play. You know, skills, dribbles, you know, quick turning, etc. And he actually has a decent finish on him. Five star, five star. Can't really go wrong. Let's get into the two strikers and you'll see who we finish the team up with. So, you know who's going to be in the team, isn't he? Uh, team of the year, Ronaldo. Any FIFA is really like team of the year. He's always been a good one. But, I don't know. This FIFA, his Ronaldo seems good. But I think last FIFA... I had to get used to him a lot. The problem is with Ronaldo is the team of the year specifically. Like, there's such a big difference in terms of the touch, the speed, the finishing. I think last week it took me a little while to get used to him. But when I did, what a card that was. So, with team of season Neymar, uh, team of season Ronaldo. Oh, not team of season Ronaldo. Team of the year Ronaldo. Or even the team of season. I think he had a 99 team of season last year. But any Ronaldo card, really, you can't really go wrong with that. But, like I said, with Shai, you've got me Team of the Year Suarez, who I was actually thinking about putting into the team. But the next player next to him, you can't not put him in the team. Because he, on about two FIFAs, carried me. Absolute top player. But with Ronaldo, he's always going to be in everyone's team more often than not. Uh, Dembele as well, pretty put him up there. Um, come on. R9 Ronaldo, completely forgot about him. Even though I do slate him for the turning in game, when he gets his prime, his body type changes. He's a bit more agile, so hopefully... That sorts out that issue. And that 96 Prime Ronaldo, this FIFA, is going to be, hopefully, really, really good. We'll have to wait and see. Um, he should be out in the next few weeks, hopefully. I know I've said hopefully about 10 times. I do apologise. Uh, but, yeah, 96 Ronaldo coming out soon. So, we'll see if he's any good. But, Team of Ronaldo, get him into the team. Team of the, uh, team of the season, Suarez, uh, Neymar, sorry. Even though Suarez would do his job there. Team of, uh, team of season, Neymar, as a cam. Let's see who the number 11 is. Well... I haven't played in the team. You know what I mean. There it is. Team of the season, Griezmann. You know, if you know me and you've been following me for a while, Griezmann on FIFA 16, FIFA 15. Probably the, the, my go-to striker. I even had the 83 at one point and he was just causing everyone issues. And then when he liked team of the season, uh, I had to get him. Best card I've ever used on any FIFA as a striker. It just was. Um, the way you could do like a backwards body thing for the ball roll. Finesse shot, top corner. He was just the best. He was so agile, quick. Best finishing I've ever used. 
I just can't really say any negatives about him. Obviously, the only negative you could probably say is lack of strength, maybe, and the height. But that's just the way I play. I don't, I don't want to pee a crouch up front, you know, knocking the ball down, etc. But that looks like a pretty decent team. I would love to be able to use any, like some generation squad or something like that. But let's be honest, it's not going to happen. But it's nice looking at it. Um, let me know what your Dream 11 would be. Maybe do a Foothead or foot whiz link and then link me it. In the comments, and I'll have a look at a few. See maybe what you've got different. Um, I'll probably say you've probably got the forwards a bit different. Maybe like Neymar, Griezmann, Rooney. Not a lot of people would have gone with. I knew her, maybe. Courtois, Carlos. But let me know what you think in the uh, comments. What you think of my team? How would it go? How would it? How would it, How good would it be in foot champs to use this team? I, I would. Uh, I'd definitely uh, play foot champs a hell of a lot more and enjoy it more if I had a team like this. But anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for the video. 20 minutes long, I do apologise, I didn't realise it was going to be that long, but hopefully you enjoyed it, drop a like on the video if you uh, enjoyed it, something different, I wanted to do it for a while now, and uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, leave a like on the video, if you did enjoy it, remember to leave me a comment in the comment section below, but until next time guys, uh, bye bye.